Halftime show. Halftime show. <laughs> so we have the blue and gold marching machine. And the drum major does what we call the agony. Yeah. And then all, all the way back, the hat touches the ground. The A and T drum line drops the beat and it's on and pumping. Yes, it is. <laughs> But I went. <laughs> Coming into my sophomore year, I didn't get a room on campus because A&T had a lot of system. My friend Byrne, she got a room on campus, but she was such a best friend. She gave up her room. We had to find an apartment. We moved off campus, got an apartment, and I had to work and work and work and work to pay for the apartment and to go to school. So somehow my work life and my School life didn't mesh too well. So when you look at my transcript, I see calculus two listed three times. Okay, so I'm not bragging. <laughs> I was devastated. I had never flunked a class in high school and I got an F. But what this taught me and what the instructors taught me, they believed in me, they encouraged me. At HBCUs, they teach you that failure is not an option. And fell in a class is not the end of the world. So this was a lesson for me in responsibility, accountability. So I got my act together. After the third time, I got a B. Hey, I, okay. I kept going. I got a B. I still have big dreams. I still have big dreams. So me and my girls, me, Bernie, Angie, and Nita, we went over to the cooperative education department. And see, co-op is like an intern, except you do it during the school year. So we found out that we could get a job in our field, not the tobacco field, <laughs> work for a big company, because all of the big companies, corporations come to AT because they're looking for black excellence. So we all prepared, we interviewed, and we all got co-op jobs. And guess who I got a job with? Big Blue. Big Blue. All right. Yeah. International Business Machine. IBM, I got my job. You see, A&T teaches us to, to dream big, to become visionaries, to think outside of the box. That's what all, all HBCUs do. They nurture you that way. So at A&T, we had the A&T Four, who helped to spark the Civil Rights Movement. In 1984, while I was there, we had Run Jesse Run, Run an alum. And then also we had Ronald McNair. In 1984, he was the second African-American astronaut to fly in space at Aggie. And then in 1986, while the world watched, he was one of seven on the Space Shuttle Challenger. Yeah. And, and right before our eyes, it exploded. Yeah. We were devastated. We lost one of our own. But let me tell you about Ronald McNair. He was like me, where I was like him. He grew up picking tobacco and cotton. But he could dream big enough to go from that to an astronaut. So I knew that my dreams, regardless, I could achieve any dream. So thank you, A&T. Thank you for the opportunities. Thank you for the struggles. Thank you for the friends that I built for life. Thank you for changing my life. Hey, Tola, come on, let's ride. Here I come, Burn. So this time, I'm not going back to the tobacco field. I'm not jump, jumping on the back of a pickup truck. Me and my funky, fresh, asymmetrical cuts, <laughs> my two suitcases, my big dreams, and my BS degree in computer science. I'm headed off to Minnesota to start my job as a cobalt program. Right? Thank you, A&T, for saving my life. And you were right. All that glitters is not gold. <laughs> <laughs>